I'm in Lincolnshire today and for the first time in four years at Drive Tribe, I'm being allowed to drive something. And that something is this, which means I'm gonna need this. So before I go anywhere near driving this mad machine, I'm actually going to go around as a passenger lap to see the track, but also to see what it takes to drive it and how useless I'm going to be at it. All good. Ready? Yep. How can you tell where the track is? Okay, so that was the safety lap, right? So now we can pin it. That's very chill. <laughs> My main worry is I'm going to be driving that, the amount of correction you're doing, the amount of scrolling it's trying to do. And also, it's so not visible, the track. No. Like, it'll be much easier though. now, but... So we just finished the passenger lap and my initial impressions are this is going to be so much fun but also quite hard. First off, the track is quite hard to see, it's quite overgrown so I'm sure I'm going to get lost at some point. Secondly, it wants to squirrel everywhere so I'm sure I'm going to lose control quite often. And finally, I'm not particularly good at off-road driving so I'm probably going to lose control at some point or another. Now it's my turn to drive. I'm probably going to go around very slowly and just learn the track to be honest. And then I'll let Tim have another go while I sort of plan how fast I want to go on my second drive. Seat belt. First things first. On. Good jumps. Huh? You did some good jumps. I did one good jump, but I think I know the track now. Yeah. I kept stopping to like make sure I'm going the right way. I didn't see you getting lost. <laughs> While we wait for Tim to do whatever he's trying to do back there, let me tell you something kind of mad. I went driving around in this with my iPhone in my back pocket. It somehow managed to slide out my back pocket, go through here, through the seat gap, and then ended up back here in this little tray after like five laps I think about 20 minutes of properly going for it and it's completely fine it's got a little bit of mud around the case but apart from that completely fine <laughs> you see I'm now going as a passenger with Lucy Brown driving and she she basically has no fear so this is going to be entertaining let me roll her GoPro for her uh, do you want me to do some clapping as well? Yeah. Just applaud me. 
Yeah, just applaud Lucy. Right, let's go and experience this as a passenger with Lucy because it's important, you know. Have you been wearing gloves? I've got delicate hands. You got to, oh. Also the grip, like it's finding it's quite slippery. You've got proper, proper gloves. They're my cycling gloves. See, this is the professional doing this. Um, right, can we go? We can go. fell asleep that was so relaxing yeah it's very comfortable the ride isn't it it's really comfortable especially when you get it crossed up over those jumps and just go for it anyway so you end up like nose into the ground that was the most comfortable bit yeah i will admit i didn't have any control there i i, I noticed a little bit it was like oh, it, was, it was good though it was ambitious it was like i fucked this up but i'm gonna commit and that was fine it's because there was a camera over there yeah. and it, the instagram generation they see a camera, they do stupid stuff. But anyway, that was actually great fun. Thank you very much, Lucy Brown. You're welcome. Sort of. <laughs> we both went. <laughs> you didn't see the bit where she very, very, very nearly rolled it as well. Oh, it was... <laughs> that was first lap enthusiasm. Just at the bottom, you know, you go come around here and then down that way. Long right. Yeah. Or left or yeah. Right. yeah. But I didn't roll it. No, but it's on two wheels for really long, yeah, enough time sure for me to say, sure steer that way, steer yeah, yeah. that way. It's straightened up now. <laughs> yeah. That's stop, fine. Stop trying to turn. <laughs> so that's the end of the day driving this. I'm pretty impressed. I've managed to do this whole video and this whole day driving this without actually knowing what it's called. So 
I'm actually going to cut to a little bit of nerd Tim explaining a little bit more about it because I don't think I've done anything any justice to it. So I'll let Tim explain that now. This is a 12,999 pound, 78 horsepower, 80 newton meter, 963 cc V twin powered toy, I guess. Now that you actually understand what this is, I'll put a link in the description to Tim's video if you want to see a proper review of it and learn a little bit more about its detail. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to tell me why in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.